Also tonight, you can't see it, you can't smell it, and it can kill you while you sleep. It sent seven people from the same home to the hospital. And as temperatures drop, that family has some words of warning before your furnace fires up. David Schumann has the story you'll see only on WCCO. It was a strange sickness Jose Munoz and his family all had. Headaches, vomiting. We actually thought it was food poisoning at first. Seven of them, including a baby and a young child, felt it, and Jose took those symptoms seriously. When we called the emergency line, they had us check around. We got a whiff of the actual gas leak downstairs. Burnsville fire crews quickly found the culprit, carbon monoxide from a malfunctioning furnace. Jose and his six family members are feeling better after a trip to the ER Monday. It's something that I mean really don't hope on upon anybody. Carbon monoxide is a colorless and odorless gas. Fire officials say that's why it's so important to have working detectors in the house. It is a common thing. We go on probably several calls a week, especially this time of year as people are starting to use their furnaces, close their windows. And fortunately, most of them we're getting called for is because their detectors are going off in the home. Jose didn't have detectors, a problem he'll now be fixing. Definitely check them, check them, replace them, do what you got to do, daily basis maintenance on it, replace them if they don't work. No family's doing good and I hope this story helps the next person down the road. In Burnsville, David Schumann, WCCO News. Carbon monoxide leaks can happen when your furnace has a damaged vent or something is blocking a vent like leaves or animals.